Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Definitely not sugar-free. Our friends play in the keyboard. Do you hear it? See the keyboard? Oh, I heard yeah. that. Yeah, we're, is we're that gonna, who it is? You want check them out with us? I would, but I have a million nine hundred. Okay, I'll tell you what, I when you get you. that down to one thing, I'll come see you. I love you. I love you. That's great. Fan favorite. Uh-oh, the ushers are wearing coats. Here we are! Yo, we're playing the Mets, just so you know. And they stink! <laughs> they stink, Brett. That's all he's fun in 301. Let's go, but you're in 101. You gotta go up two floors. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. What's her name? Happy, Happy birthday, dear Brittany. Courtney. Courtney, that's what I said. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Let's go, yo. I don't know if you're hurt. Red October, it's coming. That's your that's our birthday gift. I sang to her in Ashburn yeah, Alley. That's, that's like a thirty dollar value. That's a twenty value. Don't forget to book me on cameo. Here we are. We're going to the playoffs this weekend. It's exciting. Where's the core keyboard player? Yeah, how you guys doing? Good, how you been, man? Good. Going all right. We're going to the playoffs. Here we are. We're going to go live. Yeah, again. I just want to. I went to a Catholic church, and my organist was a blind dude named Richard. And in between church songs, he would play carnival music. <laughs> he would go, do, 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 like do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah. Strong girl, Alex, center of the attention. I can't believe it. Let's go! Yo! Yo! I don't know if you heard. How you been, Captain? I've been all right. Yo, it's hunting season. Yeah. Hunting season. I think you were louder than me. The hunt. We've been talking about it all season. The hunt for Red Ops. It's over. It's over. I don't know if you heard the news. Go Phillies! We're going to the playoffs. Oh, we just clinched? Let's go. Huh? Go Phil. Well, we didn't clinch yet. We didn't clinch yet, but we're going to clinch. Hey, what's up, it's pretty good. What's up, Captain? Oh, hey, Brett. What's up, Blue? What's, what's up, Captain? Man? Come on, Nolan. Let's go. Come on, Beth. Come on, Brett. He's on Come on, Luke. No, Oscar tonight. Oscar's not well. Oscar always shows up late. Yeah. All right, Luke. It's the last home stand of the season. I haven't played the Mets. <laughs> Sorry. When you say Mets, it makes me laugh really loud. <laughs> Cause their team imploded. They spent a billion dollars, and guess what? Last place, right, Brett? Look at the pitchers that they're freighting out versus the pitchers that they thought they're going to have this year. Verlander, Scherzer. Nope, nope. Well, they got Who they got? Uh, that you know, McGill, maybe you might know. We well, you know uh, Verlander ended up back. Oh, you know, Jose Gatana's pitching Saturday. Luke, who's going to hit a home run tonight? Nick Castellanos. Well, he hit two yesterday. Don't you think statistically the odds are not in his favor? Well, I'm, I'm going to no, go with it. Okay. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun in 301. Yo, Oscar, what are we doing? We're doing well. Philly's got bases loaded, two outs. Nick Castellanos is up. I don't know if you heard, Luke predicted a home run by Nick Castellanos. And that's not a home run, that's a strike. Nick Castellanos, full count, two outs, bases loaded. We're hunting. Three Mets fans are cheering because the Mets scored a run. Two to one. We're still winning. 
Were they were they mathematically eliminated from the playoffs? I thought like they were mathematically out like April, April, April well, like, May. There's, there's a difference between being out and being mathematically out. Not talking about like, checked out, like the team checked. Oh, the team checked out. Uh, they checked out. They checked out once they traded their two pitchers. Yeah, it was really the All Star break. But I just, the Athletic had a story about this whole when thing. When they went from a three hundred and sixty three million dollar payroll to a two hundred and fifty million dollar payroll, that was just still, that was just two guys they got. Rid of. <laughs> I love it when the Mets implode. It's my favorite time of the year. That's what they do. They Mets it up. <laughs> they're at, their magic number is three to be eliminated. So officially, we could, do that we, could we could beat them this. Oh, we got a sweep today. We got a sweep. Break out the broom. Yeah, that's it. All over the internet, people oh. were talking about Still. Philly Still. captain huh? Oscar. Okay. Versus this douchebag in tennis, yes. Todd. Everybody wants you to lose. Oh, really? Everybody's talking about Todd, the loser. I saw, I saw the location on your video. You rolled past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoop. Good, good spot, player. right? No, that's a good spot. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, he plays tennis all the time, yeah. and all we had to do is beat him in one match, now, and we win. How many practices can I get in? Do, do we have a date yet? November. November. Right, November. It's a little cold to be on the tennis court. No, no, no. November in Philly's, it's in the 60s. Yeah, it's good. I my shorts already. You know, like, that Mets tied it up. It's 2-2. Two, two. Well, listen, Todd, I'll tell you one thing that's never good. Hey, listen, just make sure you don't film anybody. <laughs> don't put your phone in anybody's face. Yeah. Ring that bell, baby! Alec Bohm takes the lead. Three to two Phillies. Let's go. Some sad news. This is our last home stand. But I have some good news. The Phillies are going to the playoffs. Let's go! <laughs> Sid, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Ah, very nice. Very keep those whiskers away from me. I hate those whiskers. You can always tell when there's a different person than Sid. Because when the other person's in Sid, I get my eyes gouged out. Oh, stunts! I can't, I can't ignore the stunts! Iggy! Wow. What a great time to be alive. Now the Phillies are going to the playoffs. What should I do? Buy several beers. Let's go Phillies, right? Let's go. Let's go. Oscar, what are you doing here? I want to go see the uh, mascot. Calvin is just staring at this woman. Uh oh. Let's go, Phils! Let's go, Phils! We did that. We did that. Do you put ketchup on your hot dog? Don't try. Right. Thank you. And what do you think about Paul Richardson? The best, right? Go. Yo, can you play Everlong next? <laughs> Let's go. Look, I do. I got the pool in the stadium. Yo, I did that. I don't know if you heard the news. I made him play everyone. That was a good request, too. Thank you. I like the food fight. Yeah. How does Scientologists feel about babies? Feel about what? How do you guys feel about babies? Babies? Yeah. I if, I, if I get married, I don't know if I'm ready to have a baby yet. So until then, we'll just have to sit back and watch the Phillies play. But 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 Scientology, they like babies? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't ask. Well, I don't care. But you, but you're a Scientologist. Yes, but sometimes I don't care about babies. And I just, I just, I just do my work. You hate I babies. I don't hate babies. I you just, just said you hate babies. No, I don't. I don't. Where is Shelly Miscavige? 
Where is Shelly? Where is Shelly? I have no idea and I don't care. <laughs> I think he killed her. I think he killed her, Todd. It's a possibility. It's just a possibility. By the way, for David a lot of people say Todd's their favorite character. My favorite character. It's Mike the Scientologist. He's an actual character. Mike the Scientologist. He's doing a bit. Well, his bit is he knows nothing about Scientology. <laughs> vacation. I'm not even in my laboratory. I'm working on my vacation. <laughs> he thinks Scientologists can hang out in a lab. Literally has no idea what Scientology is. <laughs> I love it. Scientology is where you're from. Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, you're proud of that. Um, no comment. Okay. Yo, let's get serious for a second. But while the Phillies were away, we had some serious news. Charlie Manuel had a health issue. And I don't know, when I saw the news about Charlie Manuel, I started crying. I got, I got a little... I didn't know Charlie Manuel meant that much to me. Todd, how do you feel about Charlie Manuel? Love oh, Chuck. Yeah, Chuck. Glad he's doing well. Glad he's doing well. Yeah. I, I got to talk to him during spring training. Yeah. And I talked to him for like 45 minutes. And all he talked about was hitting. He did not talk about pitching at all. 45 minutes. Just hitting. He's a Swifty. He likes Taylor Swift. He does? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Taylor Swift. You asked him that? Yeah, I asked him. I, I didn't, and, and he puts ketchup on his hot dog, too. I've had two intellectual conversations. Was that the Philly sports trip uh, tailgate? It always is. Let me ask you a question. What's Taylor Swift got? I mean, what's Travis Kelsey got that I don't? Uh, Two hundred million dollars. Oh! oh. Bring that bell! Nick Castellanos. Luke called it. Good things happen. Positivity abounds with the mention of her name. Wow, really? I didn't know you felt that way about Taylor Swift. All I'm saying is we brought her name up and then Cassiano said a home run. Wow. So it was a natural bring up of, of, of Taylor's well, name. He invited Taylor up here to throw I said Taylor anytime you want. I knew she watched she watches the videos. Oh she's a big fan. She's a huge fan. She's she a, she's a deckhand. She's yeah, a she, deckhand. She knows Oscar. She knows everybody. She she knows what she's excited about. What's that? The Barbie big team. tennis match in November. Oh, she's where you're going down. Yeah. Oh yeah. She'll be there. Oh yeah. Staying in. What what will be a tougher ticket to get? Taylor's concerts at the link or the ticket uh, the tennis match between us three? Can we get a hundred people out there? I can, yo, can we get two? Can people? you get one? Can we get two people. Can one there? person people watch the live. People don't know though. It has to be like yeah. It can't be like Brent. If you're interested in the ticket, the tennis match, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll do it. We need to preface. These two do not know how to play tennis, and I am an above average. I know how to play tennis. Todd. I know how to play. I tennis. played it 30 years ago. I'm an above average recreational player. Nobody, there is no and market. I watched two YouTube videos. <laughs> Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back for his room. Root, root for the Phillies. No, where the Phillies at? No win, it's a shame. For it's one. Three times you're out at the old ball game. And that's the first time we've done that with a live organ all season. Yeah. Or I can't remember. Here he comes. Craig Kimbrell, it's only the eighth inning. God, I think we're using him too much, but that's just my opinion. We're hunting for a red October. What a successful inning from K Craig Kimbrell. Now, yes, sir. it's time to win this. It's time to make that magic number. Five, Todd. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's going to get lower today because I think it's the Marlins. Well, if we win, it gets lower. No, beyond beyond that. I'll... Do they celebrate when they get the magic number just to get into playoffs? Yeah, the celebration will be for the playoffs, not for the four season. Okay. So we don't make the playoffs. They're going to do, they'll come out on the field to do the whole thing. The only question is, are they going to go party like they did last year, or is it going to be a little bit more of a I think it's going to be as bad as the Braves. I 
tell you what. Yeah. The game after they clinch. Yeah. Bet against the Phillies. You're gonna see a lot of Rodolfo Castro, Garrett Stubbs. Yeah. A lot of hungover players. Christian Hutch. I, I don't bet, but I might bet against the Phillies in that game. Yeah. You know, a lot of people ask me, they go, hey, Captain, how do you get to go to so many games? Well, here's the deal. I use SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket-buying app that makes buying tickets oh so easy. And if you download SeatGeek today and use promo code the Philly Captain, I can save you $20 off your first order, $50 or more. So download SeatGeek today and use promo code the Philly Captain. What? Let's go, Phillies! Let's go, Phillies! Row Huss! It, but he had a fantastic play the last out. Everybody down there standing. Everybody up here is standing. Jose! 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 Bring that back! Numbers five. When you are down, get your head off the ground. There's a lot to be learned. So look around. Once there was a silly old man. Thought he move a rubber tree plant. Anyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant. But he has. Start the feeling low instead of letting go. Just remember that it. Woo! Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree plant.